what we do is we do a little bit of, oh, okay, one, take a rest, one, take a rest. With the weight shifts, it helps um, uh, strengthen the back, which she needs more strength to stay up, and balance as well. It's probably one of the hardest things she needs. So more important, especially only having the one in the back, she needs a lot more strength in the back end and a lot more balance so that she doesn't fall over and hurt herself. Uh -huh. And by weight shift, what exactly are you doing? It's just, they're just literally just that where I'm putting pressure on the hips, and it's not getting them to step sideways because it doesn't really benefit her. It's just the same idea as if you stand on a dock or something, you're actually trying to balance. You don't want to be shifting your weight the entire time and looking around, so. I know. So we help kind of just a little bit so it encourages weight bearing and strength in the back. Good. Good. How many times will you have her do this? Uh, it depends. Um, really depends on the day and how they're feeling and you don't want to push them too far. Oh. Okay, but girl, you believe good. Good girl, Lou. Ten. Not over there, Lou. How do you determine what kind of pace to, to walk them at? What's better, fast or slow or depends on what's wrong with them. You know, if really old dogs you might just get slower because you know they have a bad heart or they never want to put them out, you know, we never want them to do more than they can handle. Uh -huh. Cause it's not gonna help them or anything. So you know if, if they're she's very energetic today, so I'll take her through quicker. But I can tell when you know when they're just pulling back and they don't want to. Some are just again, you know, latitude, but some of them are tired. So you have to just sort of gauge the difference on your own. Okay. So what are you doing here? This is interesting. So what we do is, part of the other strength we want to build up a lot is in their stomach and their abs. You can't do anything with them, especially trying to hold yourself up. So what we do is we have them lay down. And we do treats all the way to their groin area. And by stretching, all, it's like doing a side crunch. It's the same idea. And what it does is it helps to build muscle on their sides to help support their weight. Oh, good stretch. And it's also good for her flexibility, of course. Go, go. Ready, Lou? Come on. Come on. Oh, holy, holy. Come on. Come on. Oh, holy. Oh, holy. How do you know if you're stretching them too far? Um, they let you know. They always let you know. Pretty, I mean, even the dogs that are a little tougher and don't let you know too much. You know, whether it's... <laughs> Breathing a little bit differently, or licking your lips, or even just looking at you, any sort of small change in the behavior is usually an indication of some sort of discomfort. So, if I'm, say, you know, stretching her leg, and I, you know, and it's all gradual, and we're always very aware of looking for signs of discomfort, you know, a nice little gradual stretch. And if she looks at me or she licks her lips, that's where I'll stay. You know, I don't want to go any further than that. You know, I don't want to push them far enough. 